and welcome to Alaska RC Attic. Wanted to show you one of my toys here that I really have a lot of fun with. The Low Seats Nasty TT Pro. Got this right when they released and it was a lot of fun to play with. It, uh, it's definitely a sturdy rig. I've put it through quite a bit here. As you can tell, I've my body's pretty beat up. I've duct taped it back together here to keep everything together a little bit. So I've, uh, the chassis overall super strong haven't had a lot of problems i managed to actually bend both of my front and rear aluminum braces on here which was pretty interesting because i had to jump a little bit too high about 25 30 feet in the air when it came back down but that's not what we're here to talk about today as much fun as this guy is here's the new one the low c laser knife I know this is a little bit older. It's been out for a couple months. I just finally was able to get my hands on one. The last one they had here in, at the shop and ready to open this up and do an unboxing video with you folks. So, pretty good sized box. It's claim it's got a lot of stuff in here. One thing that we're, I'm noticing, it actually says it's including the AA batteries for the radio, which was kind of a surprise in there. So we'll open her up and see here. This does have the new radio system in there that has the built-in telemetry so you can monitor that battery, which should be a fun thing to do and actually see what we're getting out of this and kind of know when that battery's about to die out there bashing around. So let's give her a pop her open here. The reason I bring up the Tenacity in here is the laser nut is built off of the Tenacity buggy body, which I don't have the DB, but I do have the TT. Let's see what we got in this one. Well, we do have our batteries here for the radio. And the new Spectrum radio here. So this is the new DX3. It does have the gauges on the top for your battery levels in here. Standard 50, 75, 100% uh, throttle limits on here and brake rates, some of the steering control. Looks like it should be a pretty decent radio. We'll test her out and see how she is. Okay, so we've got a standard manual in here. we got a couple tools. we got the, the T wrench. Looks like we got a dog tag here with a follow it laser nut and some other information on there. Let's take it out so you can see what's in there. Don't see the laser not needing a dog tag so much. I don't think it's going to war anytime soon, but hey, you never know. So it's the low C laser knot. Follow us some information there to take a look and kind of keep track of what's going on with Losi's products here. So we've got another speed gear in here, our key wrench, a couple of wrenches, and the antenna in here. Some free swag from Horizon Hobbies when you register your product. And the user manual here. <clears throat> Pretty basic. Doesn't look like it has a whole lot of breakdown for parts and everything. It is showing that it does have a 6100 AT in it, so it's a good, strong, durable uh, receiver if that is the case. Yep, we do have small parts breakdown. It doesn't have a lot of uh, installation instructions, it looks like. Just an exploded view when you do start breaking things because we know we're all going to get out there and bash on this a bit and start breaking some of the parts. All right, so I guess it's time to pull out the part that we want to see and take a look at here. Hmm. Straps are broken. Nothing else in the box. My dogs, they obviously don't like to throw too much stuff around. We got a Sear, Kronos here, and Roxy. Just waiting to see what's going on. And we have the new Losi laser knife. 
obviously didn't know what color this was. I know it comes in two colors, the, the blue and white, I believe, and then the red and black here. I wasn't sure what color it was. It didn't much matter. I wanted to uh, get a laser gun. So, it's got some pretty big tires on there. It's From what I understand, this is a scaled vehicle to try to match up as close as possible to what the vehicle that they run for competition is. Tires feel pretty decent. They're soft, fairly soft. They are the BF Good Rich Mud Terrain tires, so they are copy, copyrighted tires, it looks like. Looks like we got a couple light pods, light bar on top of her. Some detailed drivers inside there. And a nice looking Spectrum system. This is a nice 4S vehicle, kind of a little bit different to see the one tenth scale actually running a 4S system, usually going a little bit bigger with that, but hey, let's see how this new one's gonna perform like that. <clears throat> so it looks like it's all Spectrum in here. I think it's got a, a 1900 Spectrum in it. I don't recall for sure. Let's take a look here. Hundred and thirty amp uh, ESC coming in this already from Spectrum, and yes, it does have the Firma 1900 brushless motor in this. Got a Spectrum <clears throat> 614 servo in there, should be enough to turn these tires a bit. And like I said, we got the 6100 uh, AT re receiver in here. One thing I do like is when the body is set down here, it's pretty easy to just get into that power switch there and turn it on, so you don't have to fight with Turn, pulling the body up to turn it on and off every time. Just get that battery plugged in and plug her in. The uh, battery tray itself with the three straps, pretty hard case all the way around. It's going to hold that battery in there a lot better, nice and tight, and hopefully it will uh, keep it in there so not have that battery flying out and tearing everything up when you're out there blasting with this machine. <clears throat> Like the Tenacity TT Pro that I have, it definitely does have the aluminum front and rear shock towers. It's like aluminum shocks, aluminum caps on them, so should be pretty decent to hold in there. Let's see how it's got a couple braces with the body up. You have to kind of push them in a little bit to close that body up. I guess it's not going to be falling down on you. Definitely has some play in her. So that's just going to do a quick one on here, the two detailed figures quick overview on this quick kind of first impression as we unbox it and what's in the box I'm gonna come back at you later with a uh, run of the vehicle and that first impression see overall what I thought of it probably have my wife run it a bit and see what her opinion of it is as well thank you I hope to see you next time